and it is as early as uh, the second century of, of Islam that uh, the pioneer uh, scholar talks about Hukukullah wa Hukukul Abad, the right of God and the right of people, the right, the right of, of people. human, which we are calling now the human rights. And they said Hukukullah, the right of God is belong to God uh, according to Quran and God will uh, judge the people and no human has the right to interfere in this. But Hukuk al Ibad or the right of people or the human right is should be established by in this life by the state and by the state by the, state. By the political system yes. or whatever. This is what in Quran and but going to the Sunni and the Shia jurisprudence you find something else. Okay. But it, what about freedom of expression and according to the faith? Can you for instance be allowed in, in, in terms of the pure faith, to criticize the holy books, to criticize the prophets? Yes, this is mentioned in the Quran. This is the Quran. If you want to, to criticize, if you want to, to make anything, go ahead and God will, will judge you in the day of judgment. This is in the Quran. Believe in it or not believe. And God will, this is repeated in the Quran. You said that there should be no interest between God and the individual. Why is there a hierarchy then in, 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 in terms of in the form of Muslim clergy, whether in the Sunni or the Shia or even the Sufis? You find the hierarchy of the so-called scholars, religious scholars, Ayatollah and so on. Yeah, so yeah. this is what I said when uh, the uh, first generation of Muslim uh, who converted to Islam, they come to Islam all the same. <laughs> all the same clarity, all the same thoughts, all the same belief, and they uh, restore it and revive it under Islamic titles. So you mean that they transform it, they, they from the Christian church, yes, hierarchy, yes, and yes, uh, just yes. give it some yeah. Islamic gown? Yes. A little bit more than that, perhaps? And then <laughs> later on, they... Yes, this is exactly what they, they are doing. They are, uh, but you find uh, the clarity or the hierarchy more in the Shia, more than Sun. People here would uh, would see some some horrible scenes of of beheading, and when Taliban was uh, was in control in Afghanistan, they killed a lot of women, and because they they show their hair and stuff like this. I mean, w w what is this supposed to be? I mean, <laughs> this is ridiculous because uh, you you do think that God uh, send his, uh, his message to Quran just to make them their head. <laughs> cover their hairs, yeah. <laughs> this is nonsense. You know, it is, it is not... Uh, why why doesn't this... Uh, I mean, why don't we see a lot of Muslim uh, scholars say that this is nonsense? You seem to be among a very, very tiny minority who says that. Uh, this, is <laughs> this is my story, and you will talk a bit out after that. But uh, uh, actually, uh, let's talk about the aspect of uh, Sunni uh, uh, jurisprudence or the Sunni law or Sunni Sharia. Okay. Because uh, I'm talking about the uh, relationship between people. And they concentrate about it and make a, a big details about it. And they give the authority for the state to enforce people uh, to do something or to not to do something and interfere in the individual in, in, uh, in the individual's individual uh, uh, life space and life. yes and, and everything and like like you know like Europe in Middle Ages the same the so what you are saying is that the, the 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 stage of development of the Muslim world right now is uh, kind of similar to the Europe uh, the yes, Europeans uh, yes yes sir in the in the Middle Ages. Yes, that is because the, the Saudi Wahhabi restore its uh, uh, thoughts and the Middle Age Sharia or the Middle Age jurisprudence of Muslims, restored in, in the name of Wahhabism and they claimed it that it is Islam. So you are saying right now that the Wahhabis are the culprit? 
Yes, there are against Islam in its face, in its value, in its Sharia, in its jurisprudence. From your the, point of view, they yes. are against the, the pure Islam. And oh, yes, 100 percent. 100 percent against yes. that. And, and those are the guys who are imposing the veil and who are uh, calling for killing of women who, yes, cover, uh, who do not yes. cover their hairs? Yes, uh, they are, this is the, the, the religion, the human-made religion that produce, produce Ibn Laden and will yes, produce and more than him. Who else? I mean, you, you are pointing a finger of accusation to the Wahhabis. Who else uh, participated in that? I, I, I find it, I mean, the Wahhabis, as far as I understand, started as a subsect of a subsect of a subsect. Yes. And uh, yes, they, they, they have a lot of money and so on, but who else would, uh, would, would, I mean, it seems that everybody agrees with that. Not everybody, I mean, uh, it seems that there is a, a, an important majority uh, at least in countries like Pakistan, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, and so on, who, who agree on this? Uh... Yes, this is because uh, the Saudi influence since uh, uh, 1930 until now. Why would the Saudis have such influence? Because of their oil money? Yes, sir. But don't you think that money should not be sufficient to do these things? Or do we just... You know, when you, talk, when you talk about money and uh, you uh, convince people uh, from their own religious culture, that is, the saying of God, the saying of the Prophet Muhammad, and you have the power and so everything. So money so, and yes. education. Yes. And financing. Through education, through religious religious media, and through yes, media everything. and so on and so forth. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, we, we do have uh, uh, a couple of, uh, of minutes, and I know it's going to be unfair, but do you believe that there is a, 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 a particular Muslim state in accordance to the pure faith in your perception? And what state it is? Is this a caliphate or is this a democracy? Uh, I work uh, for three months. One minute the, remaining. Yeah, for... Inter, uh, for uh, 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 Okay, sorry for that. Uh, NED, National Endowment for Democracy, and I prepared my first book in English about the d democratic Islam and Muslim tyranny, and I proved that uh, the direct democracy is Islamic. Islam. I have to uh, interrupt you here. I'm sorry for that. But uh, thank you very much for being patient with us and uh, listening to all what we have said. Uh, we uh, do ask you indeed that uh, if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, do not hesitate to contact us through our email, uh, newideasstudioa uh, at gmail.com. And uh, we do hope that we have pro uh, introduced you new ideas. We do hope that you have spent some good time with us and so long. Thank you very much. Thanks to the... And thank you, Doctor.